What is going on y'all, John B. Saunders here. I wanted to show you a really cool tool I found for making a quick and easy signature for your email, whether it's Gmail, using Microsoft Suite, whatever platform you're using, it's easy to make a nice, clean email signature that you can then integrate into one of those platforms in minutes. So uh, let me go through it really quickly and show you. So in the first tab, uh, first this is through HubSpot Tools. I'll post the link to this so you can check it out. This is not a sponsored post. I just found this really cool tool and I've been using it for the past few weeks and figured you might like to use it yourself. So uh, in regards to template, just pick the template that you like. I liked one. Um, they have different variations where you can have the image at the top, on the side, and so forth. I'm gonna click that. You can uh, turn on and off created by with HubSpot. I turned it off. And then on the second tab is just your information. So you just type it in and it auto populates here on the right hand side in real time. So I'm gonna do this with one of my side hustles, blackwallet.org. I'm going to put uh, my website URL, I'm going to put my email. Okay, and then we are going to put some social links. So we'll do LinkedIn. We'll do Facebook. And then you can put in as many as you like here. I'll do Instagram too. Why not? Okay. And then you can also add a custom field here. So if you wanted to add another layer on top of that, uh, you can do that also. So then I'm going to go through the third tab. You can make this content, this color consistent with your branding. So I'm going to make this more of an olive green. So it matches my brand. And then I'm going to change the link color to that as well. Let's just copy this, put it here. And then you have the fonts. Again, you're not gonna have a, a big variant of fonts because these are fonts that are used across the board in sending and receiving email. So this list is almost identical to the one you'd see on like Gmail. So I'm going to use Courier New. Um, actually, let's do Arial, let's keep it simple. And then font size, I suggest doing it a little bit smaller just because it'll look good when you do it on um, mobile devices. So make sure that it's a, a, a sizable font. And then for the last tab, this is really cool. You can add a profile picture. You just link it to wherever your profile picture is hosted. Mine is on Webflow. If you have WordPress, Shopify, you basically just find the file link for that image. You can have your, your logo here as well, your company logo. So uh, let's add ours. And then you can create a custom call to action. I thought this was pretty cool. So I could do check out our most recent article. And then I can make that just blackwallet.org. And I can change that call to action color. Um, let's just do a greenish color. There we go. Okay. And then you can also have an image next to that call to action on the left as well. So I'm gonna pull up these images just because I wanna make sure that I'm showing you the full spectrum of what's going on. So I'm gonna do a search for black wallet org. Now I'm just gonna do images. All right, and I'll most likely find the logo here. There we go, we'll just use this one. Um, this is somewhere hosted on my website, so I'm just gonna click it, and then I'm gonna do copy um, image URL. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's go back. Let's do copy image address. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna pop in here and we're gonna go back up to company logo. There we go. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. I like it. I like it. All right, and then we're gonna go down. Custom CTA image. Do we need an image for that? I don't know. Let's just test one out and see what it looks like. So we'll do the book. Copy image address. Not sure how this is gonna look, but we'll test it out. Okay, so it looks a little crazy. So we'll take that out for now and just leave it as is. And then that is done. So then once you're done creating your signature, you just hit create signature. And then you can do it in a few ways. You can just add it manually or I'm sorry, you can hit this to add it. I just like to do copy signature and then I'm going to go to Gmail because I have all my email addresses in Gmail. Makes it easy to manage and access everything that we need. Settings, go to general, you go to signature, and you can see I've already added the ones that I've placed in here. And I'm just gonna do 
paste. As you can see, my signature looks nice and clean there. And then I can just hit save changes and I'm done. And it's that easy. So guys, I hope that helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and uh, have a great week.